Tello, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not. Oh, we are live. I'm tweaking. We're live. By the time you see this, we definitely won't be. It's like 4 a.m. in the UK right now. 3 a.m., 2 a.m. maybe. I don't know. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Uh, if you do want to catch a live or pray previous lives, the username is on the bottom of the screen. The website is twitch.com. Don't forget, we also got Patreon and we got merch. That's located in the description of every video, man. This is Jeremy Kyle. What happened at the back of the bus? Hold on now. The back of the bus? What bus? The big red buses? The double deckers? All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is my warning, YouTube, and this is what else I got to say. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. At the end of the day, and you know, if anybody ever wants me to take down something, just send me a takedown notice and I will take it down. All that other extra stuff y'all doing be crazy to me. <laughs> It'd be real wild. That'd be like, that let me know like you was a certain type of way coming up. And now that you've got on, you want to exert that power. It's kind of weird to me, low key. But anyway, let's get into this. Jeremy Kyle had a mainly woman audience, didn't he? For a big, big welcome to the show. Now, my first guest today, Kirsty, is here to confront her partner Ben's ex-girlfriend over allegations that Ben has been sleeping with his ex behind her back. Now, ben has definitely been sleeping with his ex behind her back. 100%. 100%. Kirsty says that Ben's ex-partner, Michelle, has caused nothing but trouble in their relationship. No, no, no. Michelle don't got... Michelle didn't cause no trouble. Like, I'm telling you right now. If you were the dude and his ex say he's still sleeping with her, it's true. It's true. Mr. Tony, appreciate the sub. This is your second time. Salute. Stop at nothing until she has split the up. Golly, dang, Ricky. Ricky, salute. Welcome back. It's your first time. Thank you for the sub. Good. She says she's here to tell Michelle to back off, leave them alone, and to find out once and for all if there's any truth to these sordid accusations. Big day for her. Kirsty is on the Jeremy Carl show that way. This is a heck of a story, and, and I just I just want to set as much as I can out so we know where we're starting today. Um, you're here today with boyfriend Ben. Yeah. Uh, you've been together three months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my eight. God. Three months? It's still a fresh relationship. And I, I was just kidding before. But, like, now, like, well, now that I got some more details, like, three months, it's a brand new relationship. How long have they been broken up? Yeah. You say um, she is stirring it. She is making stuff up. She will do nothing but cause trouble and will not stop until she split you up. Why? Jealousy, basically. She just think like how we're getting on, how a strong couple we are. And right, let's talk about that because your boyfriend was on this show before, some months ago, with Michelle. Just to give you an idea, okay? He came on the Jeremy Carl show when he was with Michelle, not with you, to prove on a lie detector that he hadn't lied to her and wasn't messing around. Let's take a look at this, my friends. Can I do the lie detector results before Ticket. I pass out here, please? Thank you very much indeed. Um, the question is that why are you biting your nails, Benji? I've been biting them for the last week or two, like I've just said. We asked Ben, shut up. We asked Ben, since the start of your relationship with Michelle, have you passionately kissed any other person? He said no. Why'd you say no? So I knew I was telling the truth. This test says you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Is this genuine, or are we going to, in five minutes, hear that you're back together in this amazing No, religion? seriously, he's gone. I ain't my life for good. Your boyfriend, Kate. So this is, this is, so... 
this young lady who's sitting next to Jezzer, that's what y'all call this man, seen that this man was on this show for the exact same reasons that she is now on this show with the exact same man and thinks that the results will be any different is delusional. That's delusional. That's the grandest gesture of delusion. Him here, your boyfriend wasn't your boyfriend. With the girl that he was on the show with? Like, come on. Then, yeah. to prove to his ex, who you now say is, is causing trouble, he fails the lie detector. They split up. Yeah. He comes home, you and he get together. Take us from that point. We just, we got together about four months after they split up. Mm -hmm. And we've still just fresh. been strong ever since, and she didn't like it because get, he's getting on with her. Why would she not like it when she on the television found out that he was a liar and a cheat? It's jealousy. She just didn't like nothing. She didn't like people getting on with their own lives and everything. She got into fear with everything. You told my team she's been harassing us, really. Yeah, How she, has she done that? She's been inboxing me on Facebook and everything, threatening to smash my face in, threatening to smash his little, fa little sister's face in. You say that she can't stand the fact that... that, that no, it is oh, like, who are you? No, no it is like, it's a yes, it is. Who are you? Mark. This is the one that was sat on the stage with them last time, Mark. What did you just shout out, Mark? Lies. No, it ain't lies at yes, all. Yes, it is lies. No, it ain't lies. Yeah, it is. But hold on a second. She ain't the one who threatened to smash Carrie Ann's no. face in it and, and threatened to smash no. um, no. Petra Bond's oh, face and everything. Could I, I finish, my face in. could I finish with her so get I get an act? Hey, shut up until you're asked to speak. I want to talk to you. think, sir? What? You are. Understand yeah, the story, well, okay? You, You'll get your moment when I ask you. Button it until you do. Right, no. you. Talk to him, Jezza. You and you, wait. Jezza. You are now with Ben, and you say, and we'll get everybody out. Michelle, right? It will stop at nothing to score. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just threw it on business. Boy, shut up until you come out. You say she says that you, uh, she and Ben have been at it. What, is she, what accusations has she made? This, I'm, I don't wanna be real with you. This is way more ratchet than than any American talk show. There was still in Jerry Springer, Loki. There was still a little bit of organization on the production side. They talking in the back. They ain't even mute them or nothing. She she's in box B on Facebook saying what has she said? Saying that she's met up with Ben, had sex with him, and everything. Apparently on a bus and everything. Sex on a bus? Yeah. What? Well, while you were with him? Yeah. Not on the bus, but in a relationship. Yeah. And you don't believe her. No. You say, I have no doubts of... Well, the bus is wild. Will you believe it or not? Hey, until you're asked, shut up. Michelle's done the lie detector to prove that she had, is strangely enough telling the truth, and she has done this. I don't know why she'd so, be so proud of that, but you don't doubt Ben at all. Can I ask you the question? If he is telling the truth and she's a dirty little liar, it's just her stirring. What happens if she's telling the truth and your boyfriend ain't what you think he is? Then it's over between us both. Because let's Simple. be perfectly honest. That man is not what you think he is. He's a seasoned veteran on here. Honest, he's got a track record, love. He's done it before. He did it to his last bird. He's now apparently causing you trouble. How do you know you can trust him? I can. And you I are can. Michelle's friend, are you, Mark? Yeah. Really? What oh, that's Michelle's friend. Okay. I'm thinking it's his friend. Keep shouting out, then. How do you know? I'm picking up for her. How do you know that she's telling the truth? And by the way, I let know. me put this to you as a friend. Let me out. Why would your mate, who got humiliated last time because her boyfriend was a dirty liar and went off, why is she on a bus with him then? You can ask her out when she comes home. Well, no, I'm asking you because you had a lot to say. You're sitting there making out of some <laughs> I big... I don't know everything about oh, her. Oh, you don't know when you're asked a damn question. Of the time. If she's so good, right? Shut up. If she found out what Ben was, why is she making out with him on the back of the bus when he's with her? Why doesn't she just get lost and deal with her? Because, man, sometimes, you know, it's better to just be friends with benefits than it is to be, you know, sometimes, sometimes the sneaky leak position is more elite than the girlfriend boyfriend position. I can't see the logic in it. But, you know what I'm saying? That's what it seems like this situation is all about. With her life. You can't answer that, can you, Gobby? No. Well, she can. Oh, Michelle's man. here. Give her a round of applause. Slow down, Michelle. Would you slow down? Okay. Ben or anyone, right? I've never ever gone. I'm jealous of you. Right? I'm not jealous of you and Ben. I've never been, been jealous of you and Ben. Ben is a dirty little cheat. Yeah, you're not Dirty little cheat. I'm what? I've got to say that. Have it. I got have it. You're more than welcome to him. I got don't never put another death threat on my door because I swear to God I will kill you myself. My door's not even to you. My door's not even. 
My door's yeah, my face now. Oh, you sick. Is she from Liverpool? Is she Liverpudlian? <laughs> what are you doing it is getting people's faces. Stop my I, I felt like I heard a slight Liverpool puddling in the accent. You idiot and concentrate on this. Let me ask you what I just asked the man there. Who Jeremy really be sneak dissing. Look, you hear him? Stop oh being God. an idiot and concentrate. Bro, really be sneak dissing on his own show, his guests. Concentrate on this. Let me ask you what I just asked the man there who apparently <laughs> hasn't got anything to say. Oi. If you discover on a television show, as you did, that you're... Dang, we had a hype train. My bad, I missed boyfriend it. boyfriend is a liar and a cheat. Yeah. Why are you back to prove that you've made out with him on the because back of the yeah, damn bus? He rang me on... Can he ring me on the Friday? I got paid, right? I had a hundred... Hold on, wait, stop. Slow down, guys. Come on, slow down. We all want to understand. That you've made out with him on the because back of the yeah, damn bus. He rang me on. Can he ring I'm me on? Yeah, I'm the main Ladies. On the Friday, I got paid, right? I had 120 pounds. I'm right? talking to her, not you. Why did you make out with a bloke as a cheat? What happened on the bus? Tell me. She wanted somebody else to feel her pain. Because she told us on the last show, I, I ain't seriously shut up. You. You want me that spoke in the first place? Mark. Be quiet. <laughs> Apparently, you said, I hate him, I don't want to go near him. What happened on the bus and why? Well, because he come to me and he's like, he kept ringing me because he's on my family pack on my phone and he was ringing me on the night, on every single night. He used to go see Kirsty, right? And Look then he used me. to ring me. He used to ring me at 10 o'clock when he used to leave Kirsty, right? Misha, I love you, I want you back. Right? You Let's love, go. Yeah? Ricky, appreciate the gift of sub, man. And even some other people know about it. Right. Tier one. To me, not anybody else. So he's contacting you despite the fact he's with her. She doesn't believe it. She thinks you're making it up. You meet up. What happened on the bus? Bro is going back there, going through it. He like, golly, I can never just, just, you know what I'm saying? I can't live my double sneaky link life in peace. I basically touched him. He touched me. Well, no, I touched him. Basically, we started kissing and everything. Then, he and then I touched him. Then we got off the bus in Cribs Causeway. Nice. Right? And then I was... Walking down the road and he <laughs> As you was walking? You asked. You asked, so I told you. You're pushing a push chair down the street. No. And at the exact moment that you're pushing a push chair down the street. Yeah, but my daughter was walking down the road with my other sister. Uh... The level of ratchet is just increasing by the minute on this show. That is wild. It's pretty rank, isn't it? Yeah. Why would you make that up? Why would you be so proud? Ricky with another gifted sub. Salute. That you come back on national television, be quiet, and want to prove to her that he did that to you. I'm not a jealous ex. And why would you then come out and put your You are a jealous ex. You trying to get your, you spinning the block. But you spinning the block on the wrong person. This is an innocent bystander. She is catching so many strays right now. It's ridiculous. Head into hers and go, you can have him. He's a dirty skank. Why would you let him do that to you when you've got your kid if you think he is what you say he is? Why not? Just proven. Uh, was it just to prove to her to split him up? Do you want him back? No, no I don't. Then why are you think. allowing a man to do that to you then? Don't you think you should raise the bar a bit? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Chesa, you might be giving a little bit too much credit, man. The bar is set wherever it's set. It's going to stay there. I mean, I do. Obviously, I never. Don't you think that makes you look a bit disgusting? Yeah. Oh, I admit I that. I don't believe her, though. Why would, why would she make it up? It's jealousy. I am not jealous. I am way from jealous. Well, then why would you allow him to do that to you? Rank. Because we did, like, after the show, we did try and make another go of it. But he's with her now, but you say that we got off the bus. I was walking... How old are they without our parents know? Like, how old is these people on here? Was... Um... After the break... They don't look that old. Dang, Rick. You're going crazy, ain't you? You didn't give to four subs. Cinderella, welcome back. This is fourth in a row. 
Hey, listen, y'all making the stream look pretty lit, and I agree because that's my name. Salute. <laughs> his boyfriend Ben, um, who obviously has much to answer. He he was on the show before, by the way, and he failed a lie detector, uh, cheating on her. He again gets with her, and she's come out here the ex and said that a certain thing happened in Cripps Cause when we got off the bus. We've got Michelle's sister Libby, about a million other people as well. I'm going to have a lie down and I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you so much. Jeremy really be stressed out at y'all, man. Y'all, is, is Jeremy still with us? Just out of curiosity because the stress of this show has looked like it might have got to him. I know he's still with us. He gotta be like, how, wouldn't it just come out? Whoa. What happened? So before the break, we're talking to Kirsty, currently in a relationship with Ben and Michelle, Ben's ex, and we heard the, the rather lovely romantic tale about how he, despite the fact that you finished with him on the last show because you discovered he's a dirty little liar and he failed the lie detector test, you allowed yourself to be, well, chatted up again. Ben's here, you say this is absolute rubbish. Yes, he failed the lie detector, but this is an ex, Michelle, who got upset last time, who wants him back and will stop at nothing to make up a series of lies. Now, this guy has come back to this show because he says I'm going to prove my innocence. You've done the lie detection. You say you can get lost. Bro, it's zero and one. Against the lie detector test. He need to go ahead and stay home. I don't know why you keep coming back Wait, here. I'm going to prove you're a dirty little liar. We're looking forward to this, aren't we? Because Ben's back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> then stepped out on smoke. <laughs> What's your problem with him? Well, chat to my missus, slow down. I'll chat with you ever want to. And you can stop swearing. Or what? <laughs> oh. This show got cancelled for faking results and giving the guests alcohol before the... Dang, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that... I mean, faking results is crazy. But, like, I heard that happens here, too. Like, it happened in America as well with the Jerry Springer show. It's the fake I think it was that one. I don't know. You gobby whatever is from building it out of this city. So right. shut your mouth until I ask you to speak. Got it? Walk him out the building. One more. One more. One more. Okay. You're about that big. One more and you're gone. Shut your mouth. Right. What are you doing having a go at him for? You're the one on trial here. Let's be perfectly honest, my old friend. Y'all remember um, Jerry Jerry Spinker gave an apology to the black community? He said he felt like he set the black community back with his show. You, you out on a sec. You failed the lie detector before you yeah. cheated on her. Yeah? What, what you haven't got my missus for? Who is? Mark. Forget him. This lady says that you made out no, on the back of... No, no mate. Not on no. the back of a bus. Why would I go on a bus? Oh, <laughs> not on the back of the bus. So what? While well, no. she's walking down the road with a push well, chair? I can't open for every day. So oh, well, that's right then. So you haven't got... But you've got a track record. You've done it before. You did it to her. Why wouldn't you do it to her? Well, I've been for every since every day. Since Isn't every it day? true the last time you were... Bro, sound like a football hooligan. On the Jeremy Carl show, you swore blind that you hadn't cheated on Michelle. Yeah, yeah. And what happened? What did you tell this audience I now? I failed. And what did you tell us about an hour afterwards? Go on. Well, I you admitted know. that it was true. You had cheated and the lie detector was right. No, true no. or false? It went, it went an hour after, actually. Go on, be honest. No, it was on the way back home, actually. Smart, yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. But the lie detector. But wasn't it? the lie detector was right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So you had cheated on Michelle. Yeah. So why would we honestly think that you're telling the truth now? Because what? Did you cheat on her? No. With her? No. Bro is a ventriloquist artist? His mouth is not moving at all. Bro said, no. Nah. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Like, move. Like, what's going on? Thing to say, Michelle? He's a lying <laughs> Do you think you could try and speak a little less disgustingly? Yeah. You, by the way, you're here to prove that he did do that to you. It's pretty rank. I keep saying that. <laughs> nothing to say to her? Oh, I'm not saying nothing to her. You are? I don't want to say nothing to her. You told my researchers I haven't even seen her since the last no. show. So the lie detector yeah. will prove her to I be said, a joke. I said yesterday on the phone that I've seen her about a week after. Who's Libby? My sister. Let's get Libby on the Jeremy Carl show. Okay. Okay. Dang, Libby. <laughs> hey, look how Libby turned the corner. Hold on, watch, watch her neck. Ah, that's what he said. Hi. 
I can't even do that. It's so sassy. I could, my body won't allow me to do that type of that type of action. This is crazy. Ricky, salute, man. That's what is that five? Appreciate the gift and sub. Bro is definitely lying. He's not even doing a good job. Stop swearing. Oh, you're not. Just out of interest before we bring Kerry. Where's Kerry Ann? Before we bring you in, right? What do you think about this show? Is so messy. I don't like. I never really watched that much Jerry Springer. I watched the Maury show. I watched Jenny. What was her name? Jenny. The Jenny show. What was it? Was it that? I watched them too. Them two, and I watched Roseanne. She had a talk show at one point too. Like I never watched the Steve Wilco show or Doctor Phil. Not because they weren't good shows. I just you know, I was done at that point. You know what I'm saying? But these this show is way messier than anything I ever watched. Your sister allowing a bloke to apparently do that to her. I used to love the Maury show. Boy, I used to get out of school and hurry home to watch the. I no matter of fact. The Maury show came on at 1 p.m. in Chicago. So the days that I missed school or I didn't go to school, trust me, brother. I was watching Maury. Y'all thought I was doing something else. No, I was at the crib watching Maury. You know? Who's turned out I to be alive? When I found out that it's filthy, she knows what I thought about that. But I didn't think her choice. I can't tell her what to do. Why are you having to go in then? Huh? Because he's a filthy little cheat. Carrie Ann's your sister, yeah? What's your view on this, darling? It's all pathetic, and I didn't threaten to All right, got the messages. So you didn't threaten, Shady? No, he's threatened. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Not in two You're just like that. There. Listen. You can't shut up. No, I'm serious. No, I'm her boyfriend. Oh, brilliant. Don't worry about you. You didn't even I was here all the time, mate. Everyone's seen the f***ing time. Put it on his face. Bro, the audience messy. On the stage messy. Jeremy is messy. Welcome. Do you think that your brother has cheated on Kirsty? I don't know, and if he has, he's out of order. Oh, you think he might have done? No, I'm not saying he might have, but if he has, he's out of order. That's called sitting on the fence. You, Mark, yeah. you believe absolutely, Michelle. Yeah. But what? let me put to you what I just put to Libby. Why would she allow a bloke? <laughs> Jeremy is wild. You heard him when he asked his sister. I don't know, but if he has, he's out of order. That's sitting on the fence. Pick a side. Jeremy, come on. Let me. Hey, just let the sis chill. What are you on? Who's been proven to be a liar on national television to do that to her? I don't know. Can't answer that. Does that mean that she does still want him? I mean, why would yeah, a woman no, allow that to happen? Yeah, but what? You just make yourself out to be a tart, darling. You sat there grinning. I'm wrong. People this will is... think that People what you did is disgusting. Yeah, it might be. It is then disgusting. why did you do it? I mean, they did. They, they, this one segment is 32 minutes? Because I'm young. Because what? I be thinking I'm going to watch a whole show minus the commercials at 32 minutes. But no, nah, this is one segment. I'm young, why not? But don't you think that if you allow a man to do that, you give the wrong impression? Yeah, definitely. Did you do that to her? Did you ring her? Did you used to ring her when you finished with Kirsty at 10? Did you ever oh, ring her when, when you were with Kirsty? No. You sure? I'm sure. You've said very little since he came out. Is it because you're beginning to wonder whether they're all telling the truth and he is a liar? What would you do if he was? Really? It's interesting. What would you do if he was cheating on you? Save her. Really? Save her. Now, it's all well, well, isn't it, for you lot to come out and say, he's this, he's this, darling, you... But, you know, put yourself in her shoes. Remember, you were her, and you were like, I want him to be telling the truth, and he lied, and you were devastated. She's got a look on her face now that... You think he's going to be proved to be a liar here now, don't you? Anything to say to that lover boy, or will you just move on to somebody else? Why would I move on? Well, but, well talk to her, because she looks like she doesn't believe you now. Talk to her. Well, <laughs> She knows I love her, I want her. I want no one else. Carry on laughing and all. Not talking to him. Why can't you talk to her? Talk to him. Good. This is in front of a live studio audience. 
his cap is getting debunked. I just watch the truth of everything. I watch all to stop because it's pathetic. Huh. I watch the truth of everything. It's okay, Michelle. I'm on a joke now. The worst feeling is getting cheated on. That is one of the worst feelings that you could put on. Besides, like, D-E-A-T-H-E or unaliving, getting cheated on is, is the feeling they give you is up there. I don't care how cold-hearted you think you is. You get cheated on, it's, you're hurt. And Michelle, here's the thing. Let's just say... Especially when you're giving it your all and you're faithful and you know you personally would never do that to nobody. It hit different when you're moving like that. When you're moving loyal, it hit different when you get cheated on. I think you're telling the truth. Uh, and, and you pass the lie detector and it proves that he's a dirty little liar and he's done it again and she walks away from him and all that. What was your motivation? To save womanhood? To stick up for a woman who might find herself with a bloke who treats her badly? Is that the reason why? I suggest a better way to promote womanhood, womanhood is not to give yourself to a man in a public place as you apparently exactly, say yeah. you did. Fair all right? enough. That right might there. be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Right is anybody's father figure present? That this is all that I'd be asking at the end of the day. Lots more to come on this, more people from both sides, and we'll finally do those lie detector results. She says, and this is true, I've come here because I'm going to prove that despite the fact that my ex Ben, who cheated on me, is now with Kirsty, I've had a sexual encounter with him behind her back, and I'm going to show her what a dirty little liar is. We're right back, don't go anywhere. Just I don't know if this, in an original show, was it bleeped out, the curse words? If, it's, if it wasn't, salute. To whoever did it, <laughs> salute. But some of the best editing on the platform, whoever did that. All sorts of people, but mainly the exes at war. Ben and Michelle, let me just recap. Dang, they hold hands now. What happened? A few months ago on this show, Ben and Michelle came here. He said, I'll prove with a lie detector, Michelle. I love you. I haven't cheated. He was a cheat. She finished it. Lo and behold, a few months later, he's now with Kirsty. They're back on the show because you say, Kirsty, that she, Michelle, the ex, is stirring it. Nothing's happened with her and Ben. She's out to break us up. She wants to ruin our happiness. Everybody else seems to have got involved. Your sister, your mates, everything like that. You say she's made... <clears throat> That's wishful thinking. I hope bro ain't cheating, man. You finna tear this girl apart. Eat this up. <laughs> she finna become a savage. She will fail this lie detector test. She just can't get me out of her head, in essence, right? Mm -hmm. You say, no, 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 no. What I did was wrong. This guy is dirty, and I'm gonna prove to everybody. One of the big things on the last show was that a lot of people had to go at you about your lifestyle, certainly your drug lifestyle you talked about. Uh, your mum wanted to come on. She wanted to defend you. Shell, not me, Shell. Shell's on the show as well, though, Oh, my God. It gets messier. Moms are involved? I've seen you once, and I don't speak to you, Arifa. I don't send you texts. You're the one that sends me texts. Yeah, I always oh, don't laugh at you. Get you can laugh at me. You show it on my phone. You don't know nothing right, about your little boy. I'm telling you now. Okay. At a certain point, like they have no respect. Would you go defend your mom, ma'am? Excuse me, I'm fine. You never ever used to look after my door. My yeah. door ain't him. My door is him. Oi, oi, oi. That's it. Hey, you. Oi, oi, oi. Right now. Sit down. Sit down. Right now. Right. You weren't happy about how yeah. your son was portrayed last no, time. I wasn't. Hey, boy, be quiet. Who failed the lie detector and cheated on his girlfriend and then admitted to us that that was true. Mama always gonna think her son innocent. No matter what. True or false? That's true. Since then, since we think, wait, since then we feel 
um, that he's got into a new relationship. We now have this weird scenario where the ex wants to come here and prove he's been up to no good. You would understand from our point of view, darling, he's got a track record. Yeah, yeah. And actually, if you look at the girlfriend, in the last ten minutes, she's beginning to really doubt him. Yeah. What do you think of your son's behaviour then? Well, I think it was bad then, but I didn't like what they were saying on the last show, that he's dirty, he's lazy, he wore his Has he got a job? He did have a job until he met them. He's out of since he was 16. Was he was living at ours. No, you wasn't. Weren't you there when he was making phone calls to the work, saying, like, you was ill, and he had to go she and look after you? She was ill. She was ill. ill. Yes, I Let know Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Shut up. Shut up. Shut Jeremy don't know what to do. Jeremy is baffled at this situation on stage. Right now. This is all entertainment. And it's a great brand of entertainment as far as I know. Things might have happened behind the scenes, but... This is literally how the internet is right now, though. A video gets posted, and this be people in the comments right here. Everybody on the stage is people in the comments. Arguing with each other. Well, that's it. Shut up. That's it. Sit down. You shut up or you will leave. Sit down. You. You. Why is everybody storming off stage? It's your first day. Do me a favor, big boy. Get rid of that. This is when NPCs get a get a get a get a line in the game of life. These are all NPCs. With they finally getting their first carrot lines in the game. You feel me? Right now, you listen to me, all of you. We're going to do this. Oi, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Everybody is going to be quiet now, otherwise nothing will happen. Nobody speaks. Quiet. You, do me a favor one minute. Do not even move. You, you want to do that again and you'll go the same way. We're going to do this. If you run away or shout and scream and make threats, I'm going to tell you something very calmly and you. <laughs> Damn, I'm on stage, out of breath. See this woman at the end? Do not even open your little mouth. They didn't talk so much, they out of breath. Well, I'll have you out of this studio quicker. This woman is in remission from cancer, okay? I Daddy, shut that. your mouth! I know she shut up! Oh I'll give you, oh my God. She, okay, has been ill. So yes. you, whatever you want to say that. about your dirty little sister who's proud enough to come on television and say, oh, that that's, man dig that's her. That's yeah, her. Yeah, she's a Not dirty... Me. You still defending her, as you should. That's your sister. Little that's woman to even face contemplate face. doing that, okay? That's I'll her. do whatever that's I have to do. Listen, 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 we will find the truth, but you are going to stop flouncing around the place. You, you need... Flouncing around... Hey, Siri. What is flouncing? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Flouncing. I didn't get that. Could you try again? What is flouncing? What is flouncing? Flounces. Flounce. I, even Siri don't know. I think Jeremy Kyle made that word up. Fake results, fake words, fake guest. You need to understand something. You seem mightily proud of the fact that you would allow a man to do this. Now you're going to be quiet, and you're going to be quiet. He's gone. You're going to speak. You're Kia, her mate. Can you make some. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's sick. Sense to me, darling, please. What do you think about the fact that your friend would do that with a bloke who's with another woman? Yeah. Truthfully, nobody else. Truthfully, it shouldn't really happen. At the end, they got a girlfriend. If it did happen, then you shouldn't have done yeah, that. And what about your friend? On your yeah, 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 but no. Let, listen, that, let us speak. I, I ain't arguing, yeah? Because at the end of the day, no, it ain't got nothing to do with me. But the only thing that me off is that you're calling me a nobody, yeah? And all this. I, I but at the end of the day, you was the one that wanted to get in my pants before you got with me, oh, shall?
I hope this is an answer. Can we get answers, please? This dude is. Don't lie. I still got the messages on Facebook, Ben, that you want Can to Can I ask you what you make of your. Facebook is entrapment. Jeez. Friend coming here. You've got to answer this. Nobody else. What do you make of the fact that your friends on national television wanted to prove that a bloke who's with another bird did that to her? Or she's pushing her child? Now, he 100% cheated. 100. He 100% tried to holler at her. He 100% is cheating on his current with her seriously what do you think of that there's no chance that he's not no not you what do you think of that it is like a bit dirty but <laughs> you think it's it, funny it, do you it is dirty. what about your child me wrong. what about your child what about what men would think of you what about raising the bar and being a bit more classy yeah but you're not are you uh. now let's just stop the shouting and concentrate on one thing because the thing that doesn't make any sense is this Here's a guy who you know, right, because of last time, is a liar. Um, the words you not use are skank and this, that, and the other. My questions to all of you are very simple. If that's the case, why would you have anything to do with him? And why, wait, wouldn't you just let this poor girl find out for herself? Because you run the risk of everybody going. The only way you're doing this, Michelle, is to score cheap points. Because if you valid yourself and you believe what he admitted to last time, you'd run them off from him, wouldn't you? That's what I've been trying to say. Do you not understand that? Do you? I don't. Now, I'm going to ask Mummy something, because I've, I've stuck up for you. Yeah. Your son's a liar, love. He's got yeah. a track record, yeah. right? You've been shouting and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed Jimmy Kyle was sitting on the floor. Bro don't got no chair or nothing. Ask this audience how many people think he's telling the truth. You do it. Go on. Well, how many of you think he's telling the truth? How many of you think he's lying? <laughs> well, that's obvious, isn't it? And what do you think? Well, if... if, if no, no. If what do you think? I think it's disgusting anyway. But I don't... No, 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 not them. What do you think of I your think son? Do you think disgusting. he's telling the truth? Well, uh, personally, I think it could be 50-50. If... <laughs> Mom, I love it. I love that you can never count your son out. <laughs> If your son is lying, <laughs> if your son is lying, what does that mean? You're still going to have a go at her, or your no, dirty, I don't, disgusting I don't even son. Know the girl. All right, but do I you don't think... even speak to her. No, no but, but you're, you're sending... out here saying. Yeah, but she keeps sending me texts. Okay. I got texts on my phone from the 21st, and I will send it to any of your phones. What she texts me, I'll send it. What she sent me on the 21st what of April, did it say? saying. Um, I love your son. I, I'm sorry about this. I do not want to cause a row. I love your son so much. So I want to be with wrong. him. Eh? That's wrong. That's wrong date. Twin, I so got you, it on my phone. You but, it. but you said it. It's the wrong date, but you said it. Let me tell you something before you shout and scream again. And ladies, I want you to be honest, we've seen that text. Why would she send that to a man who's with another bird who's been proven to be a liar? Go on, justify that right now. I, without because he was shouting. with me at the same time. So I mean, Why would you be with him if he is what you said? Yeah, he got these girls out here going crazy about him. Well, early. He, is. he, he was on the phone, phone to me. He was on the phone to me when I texted his mum. So he was chatting you yeah. up still. Do you believe any of this? Because you've gone no, very... because he deleted her number, so... Right, okay. you you it 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 Don't so start like shouting. So what are you going on about? Christy, they was on family pack together. Yeah, I knew they was on family pack when you can add people and bring each other. just go to work and just start having sex with each other? I've just left school. I'm going to college. Do you think you'll? Do you think she's telling the truth? College. College is what? Eighteen. Yeah, I do. Do you think she's telling the truth? So and I, if she I, is, I, it, you're right. If she is, calmly, what happens from here? She's gonna. You're gonna finish with him, right? If it comes back, it's true. Yeah. And um, what? You'll just go on to your next victim, will you? Uh, no. No. Maybe your mother, who I understand. Can I? I should compliment him on one thing. He did a drugs test, because you made a lot of allegations on the last show that he was on Class A drugs. Uh, that's me. He's clean of all Class A drugs. Okay, we did that today. Dude, that's good. We gotta give him something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give him something to be proud about. Let the crowd, like, be proud about something. How proud you must be. Yeah, How proud you must be that your son's not on Class A drugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you came here rather strangely to the Jeremy Carr show for a second time, despite the fact you found out last time that your boyfriend was a liar and you said I don't want anything to do with him, to prove that at Cribs Causeway, you, well, to prove that something happened between you and him whilst you were just Kirstie you know came out and said, I don't believe it, you're a manipulative liar, you're out to score cheap points. You went, no, 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 I'm telling the truth. We asked Michelle three simple questions. 
We asked Michelle, during last May Day bank holiday, did you have sexual contact with Ben whilst you were both on that bus? Look at Ben heart yes. beating crazy. The lie detector on the Jeremy Carl show says Michelle was telling the truth. Oh no, ma'am. Come back. Come back. We still got three. We got two more questions. Once again. Michelle, come here. Get this thing off me. Get this thing off me. Where's she gone now? That's not funny, man. Get this thing off Excuse me. Excuse me. All he called was Michelle, not y'all. Oi. Like, well, Darling, do you know what? Want me to give you the rest of this? Let me, wait, let me just. I mean, it ain't no more. <laughs> ain't nothing else to know. Listen, let me just. I know, I know. But I've got to read you this. I've got to do this. I've got to add insult to injury. I have to. For the viewership, for the sponsors, for the reactors. <laughs> can you get me the microphone, buddy, please? You got your arm round. Why don't you admit the truth? You can tell me the test right now. Yeah, it's wrong. Oh, rubbish. Oh, you want me to tell you I was last like, time, back oh, yeah. on my bus Last bus. time you told me it was wrong, during May Day Bank Holiday, did yeah. you have sexual contact with Ben after? Nothing to declare oh, coming your way. Yes, she was telling the truth on that one as well. And then, since you last appeared on the show, have you had sexual intercourse with Ben? She said yes. Obviously, was telling the truth. Sorry, darling, she was telling the truth throughout the you whole thing. You cheat. You cheat. Get away from me. You're a cheat. Get away from me. You're a cheat. You are a cheat. You swore my kid's life. You did do. You swore my kid's life. You did do. he swore on your kids and not his own? Bro is down low. Bro is really wilding out here. He was, I swear on your kids' lives. What is, what is, what? <laughs> That's you done then, son, isn't it? Lying again. Don't have a go at her. She's done nothing wrong. I know she feel terrible. That's a bogus feel. Like, I don't even, that's not even. I'm Stop going to go and ban you. You carried on cheating and cheating and cheating. Yeah. I know that we've been most scared. I'm just going to stand on the back of one. Yeah. Oh, right, and bought his mom with him. Your mom is up there. Your mom is genuinely embarrassed. Oh, no, no, no. You did do Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Can you stop? Can you be a bit more dig? Right, that's nice. A bit more dignified. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I'm sorry. Can I? Can I? Oi, oi. Can everybody stop? Stop it. You didn't believe me. Oi, shh, shh, shh. Listen to me. Listen. Can you shut up, John? Take the dirty little failing twice, man. And why don't you run along with you? <laughs> the dirty failing twice, man. It's crazy. Because he's a liar. Not pushing you about. Just get rid of your son. He's a liar. You called her everything under the sun. No, I didn't call her. I don't call her anything. 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 Don't just let's calm down. She's not wrong. Let's Could I be really honest? You became the thing that you hated most. Say that the victim here is certain. Hear me out, right? Yeah, thank you. Now. It's slightly strange to come on a television show, and I'm going to say this very calmly, right? And nobody's going to speak to prove that you act in such a disgusting way. Now, maybe he tried to say things and whatever. She's a victim. Darling, from my point of view, right, be dignified, raise the bar, stop giving yourself to blokes so readily, and you two, if you love her, you should make sure. This is the victim in this, and this lady, who hasn't been well, has had a lot of jip, you must... You're asking her for too much. ...be annoyed with your son, that's twice. Yeah, I yeah. am. You know, because she can't go around doing this. You understand yeah. what I'm saying, yeah? Like yeah? But then I don't want this hex to go through. No. And when I was, before I went on all you, Michelle, did you text me every day asking me how I was? Did you, but, did you? But, but, but I'm not denying that. But yeah, because yeah, I felt sorry, I felt sorry because I ever my man died of but, cancer. But I don't want to see you die of cancer. Right. I, I never I, ever I, wanted anyone to die of cancer. Can I tell you what's happened? I've had my man. Can I tell you what's happened here? I think we're getting off a little. We're, 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 off, we're off subject now. Jeremy, go ahead, reel it in. This guy, oi, this guy, listen to me. He has played, I'm afraid, everybody. Right? He did. This is the victim. You need to be more dignified. I want to ask you a favor. 
Do you know where his son is? Do I know where his son is? Do you know where, does anybody know where his son is? I'm going to go on my own. You ladies have a cup of tea. You just chill, all right? The most important thing is I'm going to go and see if I can get him. Everybody. Yeah, let's get some camaraderie. Let's bond over one person being, you know, let's bond over her son's shortcomings. Needs to stop shouting. She, right, has had, had a, a terrible thing. You say that's fine. You've got to think about this whole thing together. We're going to leave you. I want to go and see if I can find him. Come with me, Bobby. Let's see if I can. I know where he is. Bobby, the cameraman or the security guard? Is. is he down this corridor? Back on. Back on. Back on. That's a concern to Oh, me. there he is. Yeah, there I am. So that's two out of two then, yeah? Yeah. What are you going to tell me? This one's a lie as well. Until an hour later when you tell me it's the truth. Do you want a bit of advice from an old man? I don't care whether you like it or not. Carry on like this and there ain't going to be a woman in the United Kingdom who's going to go near you because you don't, dis you don't respect right. women, do you? I'm going to sit up here right now and tell you that's Cap, Jeremy. That's Cap. There's always going to be somebody that's going to fall for it. It is, it, and that goes for both sides of the coin. Man can cheat, woman can cheat as many times as they, they can show you who they are as much as they want. And there's always going to be somebody that falls for the okie doke. Because, you know, the human nature of it all is we always think we can fix somebody. We always think we're the exception. We're not. We're not. Don't be out here thinking you're the exception. You're not. Yeah. And here's the other thing for you as well. Guess what? You know the women that you all managed to play off against each yeah. other? They're all fine backstage with your mother. And she too thinks you're disgusting it's the way fine. you treat women. Single life, no, no. On what? my own. Single life on my own. Unbelievable. We don't care what you just done. You lied Obviously to Obviously I her. do. Obviously I do. What are you going to do in the future then? How well, are we going to... I was going to propose to her on stage, but... <laughs> for what? <laughs> oh. You think that ring going to change something? Do you have a ring? What is that a thing? Wow, this is the second time. Well, what just spared? Well, because it's about the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard yeah. in my life. Even be loyal to a woman. You've lied to two women who have been on this show. You've been Single found out to be a... What? Single life, no, no. Go and look in the mirror, mate, because I'm telling you, you won't like what you see. You can't Look treat... in the mirror this morning. What? Look in the mirror this morning. What did you say? A myself. liar, a cheat. No, I looked at yeah, myself. Yeah, come on, mate. That's all I've seen is myself. Do you honestly think you're clever? Do you not care about what you've just obviously done to Kirsty? Do you not I'm care not what clever. you've just done? Obviously, I'm not clever because I just got caught. To Kirsty. What did I do? Then why did you do it? Well, because I never done it. I was at Cribs Causeway on my push bike. Oh, of course you were, yeah. Well, yeah, I was. I don't go on public transport for a start. Oh, I the... ride my push bike about it. If I ride my push bike, do you bike understand? Bike, what's... Like, um... Bro is waffling. Like, what are you even talking about? Stupidity! You're yeah. spatting out of your mouth. Yeah. You failed twice, yeah, mate. Mid You're a ch what? Whatever. I'll tell you what, run along, little boy, because nobody's going to go anywhere near you. Those I, I girls are going to be looked look. after. Be alone, be single, disrespect women. This cat bro from to go to the local pub tonight. <laughs> and it's up. You know what you are, don't you? A lawyer. Worse than that. Yeah. A lawyer. Like Why don't I just leave that there? Yeah, you can go as far away from civilization as you want because you don't belong in a civilized society. Go that way. Don't yeah. go on the bus, though. Go on your push bike. Go, go. <laughs> See ya. It wouldn't want to be ya. That's tough. Tell you love, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I had a good time here. Um... The only part I don't like is like I like when they find out that they got cheated on. That's tough. I'm gone.